Hello. I, I thank God for you, and I thank God for this time. And, and where I am right now, I'm wondering where you are. Are you, are you in a kitchen nook, watching on a, on a phone or, or a tablet? Are you watching on your computer? Wherever you are, you're doing more than watching. You've set aside time. You've, you've taken a hold of this time. And let it be a time where you break into eternity. You're open right now. You are being open to, to God's holy word and to a time of prayer. And when you open yourself to God's holy word and this prayer, God's spirit comes inside with grace and care and understanding and hears everything that's happening in your life and brings that to God. So our psalm today comes from uh, Psalm number eight. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is humankind that you are mindful? Human beings that you care for them. In this reading from, from C.S. Lewis, Imagine yourself as a living house. God comes in to rebuild the house. At first, maybe you can understand what God is doing. God is getting the drains right and stopping the leaks on the roof and so on. You knew that those jobs needed doing and so you're not surprised. But soon, God starts knocking the house about in a way that hurts abominably and does not seem to make sense. What on earth is God up to? The explanation is that God is building quite a different house from the one you thought of. Throwing out a new wing here, putting on an extra floor there, running up towers, making courtyards. You were thought that you were going to be made into a decent little cottage. But God is building a palace. God intends to come and live in God's very self. Will you pray with me? Dear God, the plans you have for us are far better, and far more wonderful than we can imagine or dream or think. Help us, dear God, as your plans unfold for us to walk in them and not to chafe and pull away, but to take hold, to take hold of the grace and wonder you prepare for us. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. God bless you.